What's up everybody, Wad007 here and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. In today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, this is going to be my first reaction to the brand new event, DD Castle. I have not made a video like this in a very long time where I just give my first impressions and thoughts on a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links event, but we finally have a new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links event in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, so I'm very excited for this. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I am extremely tired right now, so if I say just dumb things in today's video, that is why, because... I fixed my sleep schedule, and now I just, when it's now 2 a.m. in the morning, I'm more tired than awake, so we out here, boys. And what is this questions right now? What best describes this character? Buying a dream car, dreams of buying an airplane, wants to buy a fishing boat. Honestly, guys, I definitely think this guy's an airplane dude. What the heck? Jokes aside, though, let's go hop into it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys are excited for today's video, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff right here, and let's get into it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot wait to check out what they're going to be doing for the DD uh, Castle event, because we haven't got a DD event in a very long time, so I'm going to see how familiar this event is to the dd tower event but at the same time it might be really different but as you guys can see dd castle emergent can be purchased with gems so we got some new event stuff right here draw two cards for your normal draw during your draw phase and normal summon twice per turn cool we got some issues already regarding the skill dd castle emergence infernity inferno skill can be used in the third turn so the second turn angel baton can be used in the seventh turn so the fourth turn um that's weird so we have some skill issues and then all those skills are supposed to be attack dual exclusive skill players were able to use in wave duels as well. We already have a lot of issues with the new uh, with the new event. Okay, then that's wild. That's wild. It looks like the maintenance is done. Okay, so we checked out all this stuff right here. Let's go take a look at the brand new event. Okay, let's get this loading going. I want to see this epic DD castle in the background. Okay, I do not care about you, Tour Guide of the Underworld. I want to check out the new event. Let's get going, boys. The event is now open. Event code. DD Castle Emergence. Let's go take a look at this event, boys. Huh? 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 What? Oh, snap. i never seen that with Duel Links. I never had the screen and stuff move like that before. So that's pretty cool. How? How could a castle appear out of nowhere? Oh, snap, boys. Crazy. Select the castle in the middle of the Duel World to enter the DD Castle. No way, boys. No ways. Okay, so we got a lottery thing. That's cool. Sadly, the 5Ds Duelist Chronicle event ended. Rip my girl Misty. She's now not in the game no more. Big sad. I'm going to go turn on the audio, though, because we had no audio for the longest time. I'm going to see if we have any custom music for it. And then, do I need to worry about this? Okay, so we get keys. So it looks like you need to get keys in order to play through the event. Interesting. Um, Do I want to... Hold up. The castle disappeared. Hold up. The castle disappeared. Wait, wait a second. But now it's back. Okay, wait. If I go back to GX, does it disappear? Okay, now we're vibing. Okay, cool. Let's go check a look at it. Hmm. Inside does look like a normal castle. <gasps> Looks like you need a key to enter the room. Whoa, this is actually really cool. Dude, these sound effects are cool too, man. I recognize these lads too. These were in some of the previous events. I knew there'd be monsters here. There's tons of them, but you're one of the best duelists. I'm counting on you. Okay, sweet. So we got this event right here. Collect castle keys. Obtain them by dueling in dual world or ranked duels. Challenge castle monsters. I really like the little um, like squares that they have for the icons. It's really cool. Use castle keys to duel monsters from the event page. And then if you defeat the monsters on each floor, by defeating all of them, you get uh, floor rewards and whatnot. Save up lottery coins to use in the lottery. Oh, they even have custom for Wave Duel. That's cool. Very similar to the Attack Duel uh, font right there, but that's awesome. In Wave Duels, you can duel several monsters in a row. The situation at the end of the each duel is carried over to the next. Nice. So you'll duel three monsters in a row. If you defeat the, if you defeat the first opponent, the second opponent appears. The third opponent will appear after you defeat the second. So you just go bam, bam, bam right away. Um, summon monsters strategically. Each new wave and wave duels begins with the same situation on the field as the end of the previous wave, and your opponent will go first. Oh, that's really cool. So you literally just keep dueling and dueling and dueling, so it's very similar to the DD Tower event, except um, a little bit different this time around. That's awesome. In addition, your opponent will begin each wave by playing a certain card. As stronger opponents are likely to play stronger cards, be sure to set things up well in your battlefield before the next wave starts. That's awesome. Because, yeah, in the previous one, you would just your life points would carry over um, in every duel. But this time around, the duel just keeps going. That's awesome, man. We have forbidden skills and cards right now. You cannot use the falling skills and cards in Wave Duel, so you can't use Grandpa's cards, Titan Showdown, Destiny Board, and Fatal Five. Yeah, that would make some sense, because that would have some bug issues. You also can't play any of these cards right here. You can't play Ojama King. No cheesing the event with Ojama King. Crazy, bro. Crazy. 
That's awesome. And then New Florida's gonna lock to the May 9th and May 11th. Cool. What rewards do we have right here? Oh, snap. We already have a Dark World card. And I... See, I haven't looked at the leaks yet, but the leaks are probably gonna give us a Dark World uh, structure deck. That's what I'm fingers crossing for. Hopefully, I can make a video on that later, but I don't know anything of the leaks yet. But we have a new Dark World card, which is awesome. So this is a five-star Dark Fiend Effect monster. This card is discarded graveyard by a card effect. If it was discarded from your hand to your graveyard by a opponent's card effect, you can target two cards your opponent controls. Special of this card from graveyard, then destroy those targets, if any. Ooh! Not bad. Not bad. This is definitely going to help out with some of the combo stuff. I'm going to have to try to get that card. Then we also Chaos Betrayer. This card's in your graveyard. You can banish one light and one dark monster from your graveyard except Chaos Betrayer. Special summon this card in defense position, but banish it when it leaves the field. This card special summon. You can target one card in your opponent's graveyard. Banish it. Ooh, I'm putting this in my Chaos Dragon deck, boys. I need to get this card so I can try this out in my Chaos Dragon deck. I don't care about trying it in at Thunder Dragons, bro. And we can get this nice sleeve of this guy right here. Awesome. Not bad. Not bad at all. Honestly, both of these rewards are not terrible either. So I have an actual reason to play this event, and it seems cool at the same time. Awesome. Good job, Konami. We got the daily bonus right here. Please give me the uh, SR card. I really want the SR card right now. So I really want to try it out in my Dark World deck. Not Dark World tech. I want to try it out in my uh, what deck? Can't. I can't even talk right now. I want to try it out in my Chaos Dragon deck. There we go. Now, what deck does my boy Jaden have right now? Yo, let's play my deck. Let's play the deck that I like a lot. Yeah, you know, this deck is probably horrible for uh, an event like this, but I don't care, boys. We're playing the deck. We're doing it. You can all duel the event, but we ain't gonna do that. We're gonna go into the normal duel. Let's get it, baby. Wave wave one, wave two, final duel. That's cool. Wave a duel. Oh, he only has 2,000 life points? Well, I guess later on in the event, you're gonna have a lot more life points to deal with later. That would make sense. We're gonna activate our grit right here. Oh snap. Oh, his hand's not horrible. Wave one. Okay, cool. So we just got two summons right here. How did he get two summons? Bro, what? Okay then. Um, first of all, we're gonna pitch Melody Awakening Dragon. Pitch a Raiden, and then search for two Chaos Dragon Leviathaneers. The devil is here. Let's go, baby. My ace monster about to show up in this battle. We're gonna go pitch up the Leviathaneer, go into the Raiden. Boom, bada, bang, there we go. Let's get a double pitch right now. A, let's go. Let's go end this fool real quick. Uh, I think we're going to actually go for Michael. Yeah, we're going to go for Michael. Eh, no, actually, we're not going to go for Michael. We're actually going to go for Effie right here. Because once the wave is done, our opponent's going to be get, able to go first, and we can just trigger Effie's effect later. Anyways, though, we're going to go banish, banish, banish. We're going to end this duel real freaking quick, boys. Let's go. These wave duels won't know what hit them. Boom. Boom. Let's go, baby. And direct attack go. Let's go. Wave one completed. Wave a two. Yeah, you're in the same duel. That's awesome. This is a really cool concept for the event, man. Um, We'll take the damage. We'll take it. Yeah, that's that's all you can do, buddy. You're a chump, bro. You're a chump. I activate the effect of Fortune Lady every. Yeah, you're Sonic Shooter. You're doo-doo. Ready to go for that attack right there. Boom, bada, bang. You're out of here, bro. Final wave. Yeah, put that monster defense position. You're trash, bro. You're a doo-doo, bro. Yeah, let me get rid of his cards real quick. Let's go end off this duel in style. We're gonna activate Charge of the Light Brigade. Mill, mill, mill. And then we're gonna go add Lumina to the hand. And next up, we're gonna summon our other Chaos Dragon Levineer. Not the play we should go for, but I wanna summon my boy again, because he's a cool guy. Next up, we're gonna go just swing, boom, bada, bang, there we go, and direct attack with the ace monster, Chaos Dragon Levineer. Let's get it, baby. Get out of here. You are trash. These duelists are doo-doo, bro. Really cool, man. He he, I knew he could do it. This many monsters isn't a big deal for you, huh? Let's keep it up and complete all the floors. That's awesome, man. And then we got an EX draw and summon for free. Cool, so we don't have to waste any gems or money. So that's awesome, man. So how many floors do we have before it's um, next? Okay, so we only got 10 floors right here, but at least you can get the, um, the sleeves right now. Dude, this is honestly really cool. So I'm not going to play the rest of this in today's video because this is kind of like my first impressions on the event and whatnot, but I do want to do a live stream on this event and play through the rest of the floors on live stream. I think that'd be a ton of fun to do, but I got to say first impression of this event, this event is honestly awesome. 
I really like that Konami is making some brand new events because the uh, 5D's Duel Chronicle event, while we've had Duel's Chronicle events before, this was a brand new one, and I gotta say they killed it. Even though I wanted my girl Misty to be in the event, um, and the rest of the Dark Signers have custom artwork, it was still really cool to go through the event. It was a really nice event. And this one is just really cool too. They definitely took what was good about the DD Tower event and just made it so much more cooler in this wave format. Like, I think Wave Duel is honestly kind of cool, man. Like, I wonder if they could even incorporate something like this into... Nah, they couldn't incorporate something like this into PvP, probably. But I think just Wave Duel is just such a cool concept where you just go battle, 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 all in the same duel. So you gotta, like, really utilize your resource as well, especially because we're in a 20-card format, that's for sure. So you just need to go quick, 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 and not lose our resources. And I'm very curious to see how difficult are these duels gonna get later in the event. Once the other floors that open up, if we go to event details real quick, like, the other floors that open up, on May 9th and May 11th. How difficult are these floors going to be? Are these going to be like top tier decks that we have to face back to back to back? It's going to really test your dual uh, capability, that's for sure. So, awesome event right here. So far, the gems don't look like too insane. Yeah, don't you don't really get that many gems from the event so far. But I got to say though, the card lottery actually has some really good cards. Like honestly, this Dark World card and Chaos Betrayer both seem very solid cards, especially for cards that are attainable for free, which is awesome right there. So, so far I gotta give a good thumbs up to this event. This event seems really cool. It seems super cool right now, and I cannot wait to play more of this on my live stream. So let me go snag them keys real quick, and let me save up a bunch of keys so I can go through this uh, the entire event on my live stream. That's for sure. But I think that's going to be it for me, boys. Looks like they also added the special gift campaign back into the game, which is awesome. Free SR tickets and jams, so I'll take that. But I think this will be it for my first impressions video on the brand new DD Castle. Now, I have not checked the data mines yet for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelings, but there's a good chance we'll have some brand new leaks. Fingers crossed that we'll be getting a Dark World Structure deck soon. So fingers Fingers crossed on that. Stay tuned to my channel for that video. And if it's already out, go give it a watch. Um, and then, yeah, go peep out my live stream when I live stream at 9 p.m. CDT. And I think that should be it for me in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelings video. Hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions on this event. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys think of this brand new DD Castle event. And yeah, I think it's be it for me. Thank you so much for watching today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelings video. I'll go see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace, everybody.